We're still live here on Ghana tonight. Remember, we are your election command uh, center. I want us to hear from the political parties after their placement. But before then, I want you to meet someone we'll be talking to in a tad. Hassan Ayariga is the leader and flag bearer of the All People's Congress, APC. He plays nine on the ballot paper. Uh, good evening, uh, sir. I hope you're having a great evening so far. Good evening to you and uh, good evening to your viewers. Mm, yes, was... I'm having a good evening. Uh, it's my daughter's birthday. So after the program, we are out having dinner. It looks like, looks like it's, a, it's a double celebration uh, tonight. You sail through in the presidential, uh, you know, in, in the presidential race, as far as the ballot order is concerned, and your daughter's birthday, on the other hand, I was hoping we could catch it. Yes, there you are. Uh, we can see you now. We are happy that you could join us. But how about we hold you on just for a tad? Uh, let's take a listen to some of the, you know, the political parties represented at the uh, ballot order exercise today at the Electoral Commission. And then, well, my producer says that we could, I, what I wanted to do was take a quick break and come back. But he says that we can have our conversation. So let's go on. Are you happy where you play? It's number nine. Um, that's a striker. If you are playing a game like football match and you are put uh, in the ninth position, what it means is that you are to be scoring the goals. And if you are number one, that means that you are the goalkeeper. So you have to be ready for the striker. So MPP is placed number one because they are the goalkeeper. They are the government in power. And I'm number nine. I'm the striker. So it's going to be between the striker and the goalkeeper. What is going to happen? If I get the balls from number eight, number seven, number six, I'm sure wonders will happen in 2024 general elections. So I'm happy with my position number nine, born for September, number nine, month of September for the uh, qualifications, number nine for balloting, the same September night. So you can imagine what nine means to me. It means a lot. Mm. And I'm happy with that number. I see. Uh, but you were in there, and this is not your first rodeo with the presidential race in this country. Uh, what did you think about yes. the exercise today? Um, the exercise was a bit... Uh, Hectic, that's number one. Uh, people were not sure of it being transparent and uh, it being um, credible. And then so there was a banter between the NDC uh, representatives and the MPP representatives of the issue why the MPP should look at their balls before picking. And then so there was one ball that was in there that was different. It had some whitish uh, line around it, and that ball was totally different. So when the NDC Fifi quoted General Secretary picked it out and said that he wasn't sure of this ball, and it looks funny. So we all agreed that, okay, in that case, let, the, let them remove the ball. Then he was still debating on the fact that he's not 100% sure that this ball is correct. So they should just remove everything and change. So I said, okay, in that case, what we need to do is that, look, there are two options. Option number one is we change all the balls and bring in new balls. Or option number two, we get an independent person, maybe the media or any other person, then to wrap the page, the papers, and then put them in the ball. Because when you look at the balls, they had some names to the day, night, uh, visibility, something, something, so many names. I looked at it and I looked, I said, no, no, no. That cannot be uh, a transparent way of uh, having these balls with needs. So, in a nutshell, I was of the view that let somebody else pull the papers, the ballot papers, and put them in the ball instead of the EC doing that. Mm. And that also went well with all of them. But then, still, they said, okay, what they want is that they should put them in a dark rubber bag so that everybody who comes will put his hand in there and just right. pick. Right. So, but so when tell they did that, they put it in a transparent rubber bag. I see. So, so tell me this. Uh, while right, right. all of these things were going on, uh, what was going on in your own head as to why a nation as this is going through the process and it, it is, is this, um, for lack of a better word, uh, very uh, primary? 
if you know what I'm trying to say. Yes, for me, I really don't, I'm not worried, worried about which number I pick or which number others do. What is important is that let's pick these numbers and then go and campaign. That's the most important thing. If people want to vote for Hassan Erega, they will look for his, his face among the 13, uh, what do you call it, candidates, and pick his face and vote for him. But people believe that these numbers play an important role. I don't know, something is a spiritual way, something is, uh, some people think it favors when you pick number one or when you pick the last number. For me, if I want to put them into context, mm. I think that, I think that just let's, we should just pick the numbers. If it is transparent, they should roll them, not put them in the ball, just put them down, just wrap them like some gum, just squeeze them and then put them down. Everybody should come and pick. And funny enough, I didn't like the idea of picking the ball and holding it and then wait until everybody is done mm. before you open it. That was, that was something Very I well. did not agree with. Because some people can swap it. They can swap it. I'm I can swap right. mine with any other person. You right. We, we, we're going to have to take a break you now. But do, your... do you think the process was rigged? Huh? I think that uh, there was some funny play. But let it go. Very well. We'll leave it here. Thank you so much. Asana Yariga is the leader and flag bearer of the APC.